Pisces. Hi. Um, I'm here to do a collective reading for you guys. Happy birthday to all my Pisces out there. We have triumph over troubles and obstacles. The eagle flying out already. I think I'm going to leave that. Okay. So this is going to be for the Pisceans out there. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Happy birthday. Yes. Um, into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us. All negativity that surrounds us and all fears that limit us. So it is. Um, let's see. Energy surrounding my Pisces at this time. February 19th and 20th. February 19th and 20th. Boom. All right, we get the grapes. Time to go out and have fun. Pisces, this is your season. All right, you guys could be celebrating for your birthday. Um, um, we also got the eagle that flew out in the pre-shuffle. Okay, so triumph over obstacles. Any obstacles, you will succeed. You will triumph over these obstacles, okay? With the grapes, time to go out and have some fun, Pisces. Maybe drink you some wine. Okay. Then we get the scales. Keep your life in balance. All right. Three more. What's going on with Pisces energy currently? Spirit, angels, and guides. God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. So we get the month of May. I love this card. You know what the crazy thing is? Is whenever months fly out of here, I swear, it's like always May, February, and December. I never see any of the other months. It's so weird. Okay. Sometimes August. <clears throat> All right. Messages for, whoa, Pisces. We get the angel. Spiritual guidance and protection from harm. Beautiful. I was about to say, anybody sending any black magic? Hoojo. Vujo, juju towards me or my Piscean collective. Please return that shit to sender spirit. This is Pisces season. Thou shall not be fucked with. <laughs> okay, we get the arcway. New opportunities and possibilities and paths are opening up for you, Pisces. Nice rock. Nice rock. Tell them, spirit. Tell my Pisces what, what it is. What it is. Oh, oh what's up? Okay. I'm going to stop there. What other messages do you have for Pisces? Single jumping cards only. Spirit, you know how I roll. All right, more messages, please, for Pisces. And we get the arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Pisces, keep doing what you're doing because if doing and doing and doing it well. <laughs> That's what I heard. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. I feel disorganized because I, like, cleaned off my desk today. My daughter helped me, thanks to her. I, like, cleaned it off, and my hair is a shit show. And my altar, like, cleaned everything with some moon water. I listened to my own advice. <laughs> okay, my own uh, research here. But, yeah, I cleaned it all off, and so I kind of reorganized it, and I feel like Shit is backwards, so if I seem off, it's just because my desk is, like, actually neat now. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's going on with the Pisces spirit? What's going on with the Pisces? What's going on with the Pisces? i shuffle. What's going on with the Pisces? Give me five cards. What's going on with Pisces? What what do Pisces need to know? What do they need to be aware of for February 20, 19th and 20th? Eight of Wands in the reverse. There may be um, some type of blocked communication or you could be blocking some somebody from coming towards you. We also have spiritual guidance and protection from harm. So somebody here may be protected. Like Eight of Wands, this can also be like if somebody was sending out, you know... Hoojoo, voojoo, joojoo, okay? That shit's being blocked, all right? Holy shit, in the seven of wands. That shit's being blocked. Eight of wands in the reverse. Damn, Pisces. All I can say is damn, Pisces. Look at you, standing there, standing your ground, protecting, protecting what is yours, standing up for yourself. Whatever's being sent out, whatever this is that's being sent towards you, Pisces, it's being fucking blocked. All right. 
Return that shit to sender. All right, what else does Pisces need to know? Or what do they need to be aware of at this time? Knight of Wands. Could be an Aries Leo Sag coming towards you. Somebody here who could be in a little bit of a flighty. Impulsive energy. Some, you know, this is also known as like the player card. Doesn't necessarily have to be. And this is somebody from your past, Pisces. So this could be somebody in your past who, this is somebody who you share a family with. There, something here ended in regards to a family dynamic. Ten of Cups reversed. This person may see you as a star, someone who's very healing. Um, somebody may be wanting to come towards you and offer you something. Okay. There is something in this cup. Um, this can also be speaking about children. Somebody may be wanting to give a child something here. You could have ended something with somebody here who was flighty. All right. You could be blocking this person, blocking their communication, blocking them from coming towards you. But I see this person very driven, very focused on a fucking mission. Okay. This person could be a little bit flighty. They could have fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, this person, you know, this is there for a quick time, a good time, you know, not a long time. So maybe you're blocking some type of passion, passionate exercise here with somebody from your past who you share a family with and things have ended. Okay. Moving on. What else does Pisces need to be aware of? What is the Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands reversed? Holy moly. The Four of Swords. Somebody here could be trying to heal from something. Okay, yeah, definitely. Two cards about healing here. The Star card, Aquarian Energy, and the Four of Swords, Six of Wands. Somebody may be seeing, you know, watching you do something online, getting some type of public, rich, ooh, public recognition, okay? You could be a healer of some sort. You could just be very... Very healing. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody could also see you um, pouring into yourself, getting a lot of attention, a lot of success, a lot of victory here. Maybe, the, you know, you had to heal from some type of a heartbreak or a third party situation here with this Four of Swords. Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords, so there could have been some type of heartbreak. Maybe you're resting, meditating. Or this is this person. Show me the Knight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, this person could be trying to come after your money or come towards, you know, some type of business, stability, legacy, Seven of Cups. They could also be trying to create some type of confusion. You could also have, you know, options here in love. And you're confused about which option to take. Or this is this person that's coming towards you. This Knight of Wands may have a lot of options, okay? This person may also have a lot of money, okay? Chariot reverse could be a cancer. I've, again, being blocked. This person is being blocked from coming towards you, Pisces. This person possibly created a lot of confusion, a lot of smoke and mirrors. I do feel like this is someone from your past. I'm the Six of Cups, Ten of Cups reverse, whom something has ended with, all right? You possibly share a family with. Yeah, something has ended with this person. This, this reading is super clear cut. Like, I don't see... Any reason to uh, keep going on this subject? Um, it's clear cut here. There, we have Scorpio energy, Cancerian, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius out here as well. Okay, so you got somebody from your past trying to come towards you. I feel like you're protected by this angel. You have an angel here. Spiritual guidance and protection from harm. You have some type of new possibilities and pathways that are opening up for you. This may also be in May. The month of May is when, you know, maybe you're working on something now. And, you know, anytime between now and May, I, I feel like things are going to really flourish. You know, things are going to be brought into balance here with the scales. Um, flourish with this May card, you know, blossoms. April showers bring May flowers. Whoa. Okay, yeah, so things are going to take off. Things are going to start blossoming, opening up for you. Um, it could happen anytime now. I feel like you're on the right path here. You're going to be successful. Um, maybe you're going to be going out and having some fun for your birthday. 
or maybe you need to, maybe this is spirit telling you, but I feel like you definitely have someone from your past coming back towards you. Okay. This person may see that you're very single, abundant. Okay. You may have a business or be, you know, I do see a family situation here that has ended and this person's coming towards you, but I, 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 I feel like this is being blocked because of you've healed from this. You're getting some type of success and recognition, 10 of pentacles, nine of pentacles. It's like you've, your shit is somebody's coming towards you. I feel like for the wrong reasons, they're coming towards you as the knight of wands of flighty energy, unreliable. Okay. And that's why this person's being blocked. Somebody may drive a motorcycle as well. Or, or, you know, we have a chariot out here too. So, all right. So let's see. We're only at 10 minutes. So let's get some more messages for you guys. Um, hmm. What does this past person coming towards Pisces? For those of you guys that actually want to know. I know some of you guys don't care and you're like, fuck the past, I'm over the past, stay, stay away from the past. And I do feel like they're being blocked. But let's just see, what does this person have to say? What does this person want to say? You came closer than anyone. I look for you everywhere. Three more, please. I know I messed up everything and I know that I crossed the line with you and I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. All right, so that's what this person wants to say, that they know that they fucked up, okay? They know that they crossed the line. They know that they're the one that messed up everything. They look for you everywhere, and you came closer than anyone, and that they are grateful for the spiritual lesson. So, you, you know, this could have been a karmic as well. There was some type of a lesson here that was... I feel like somebody was learning or had to learn. All right. Let's see. Let's go to the lovers oracle. See what they have to say. The love oracle, not the lovers oracle. There's two different decks. I have I have the lovers oracle and the love oracle. So they're but they're separate. All right. What does the love oracle have to say about this? What does the love oracle have to say? Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So Pisces, I don't feel like this is you because we had all that healing energy coming up in your your energy, this could be this person. Maybe this person is feeling heartbroken about a separation or a breakup. Maybe they're the one that's feeling lost, grieving, mourning, you know, this this connection, the ending of this connection. And then you get Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, surprise invitation, meeting, and hesitation. So somebody here may be hesitating, sending you a message of love. But Cupid's arrows are, <laughs> I'm just saying like, Cupid's arrows are drawn back. It's like they haven't let them go that let them go yet. Okay. So that message may not have came in yet, but it's coming. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or a meeting. Somebody may be hesitating as well. So we have self-indulgence. Focus on self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Okay, so pouring back into yourself, self-love, um, focusing on your self-worth, healing shadow work doing the doing the shadow work okay appreciation of oneself and last message kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection and falling in love so let's see um sorry my daughter moved all my decks like in different areas so let's see angels spirits and guides let's see for this cupid's arrow and kisses your person may also be feeling heartbroken because you're focusing on yourself, okay? You're do that you did the shadow work. Um, or this is your person that's needing to do some shadow work because you know they're going through some type of sadness due to a separation or loss, you know. They may need they may need to do the shadow work. All right, let's see. Cupid's arrows and kisses. Cupid's arrows and kisses. Have faith. Love is coming. If this is a new person spirit coming towards my Pisces. Okay, even if it's the old person, show me who this is. Show me who Pisces can expect. Who is this coming towards my Pisces wanting to send a message of love? Okay, I didn't notice, but on the bottom of the deck, we have photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. 
So this person, this may be the past person here who's looking at your photos, missing you. This person could be looking at you online as well on, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever social platform it is that you're on. All right, somebody here, I feel like um, they could even, even be watching you make new memories with somebody new here. And that's why they're feeling saddened, um, mourning the loss of this relationship. Seven of Swords and King of Cups. There could be somebody, what the fuck? Okay. Let's just see what comes out, but uh, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you could have somebody coming towards you in some type of deceptive energy. Could be a Scorpio um, who is lying, cheating, stealing, doing something shady behind the scenes. All right, but let's just see. Who is this that's coming towards Pisces? Ace of Swords, somebody with the truth, somebody wanting to have a new, new start with clarity. Could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be somebody who has also been married and has gotten a divorce the queen of swords to me is like the divorcee somebody who's been hurt a lot you know somebody who will cut off people places and things that do not serve her um she's very you know she has her sword lowered in this particular deck so i do feel like somebody wants to come and bring you the truth about a situation bring some type of clarity could be an air sign. Let's see. What's this Queen of Swords for Pisces? Or who's coming towards my Pisces? Who's the Queen of Swords? The King of Wands. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe they have air in their chart. Or maybe this is an air sign with fire in their chart. Either way, this is someone who's very attractive. You know, an entrepreneur, a go-getter. Um... Seven of Wands. You may be blocking this person. So this may be the past person. Let me get Seven of Wands again. I feel like you're in your own fucking bubble here, Pisces. This could be somebody who you're very attracted to, but um, I feel like this person's coming towards you to tell you the truth about something. And I feel like you're you're choosing to stay like in your protective bubble or this is spirit literally protecting you. So yeah, let's see. What is this Ace of Swords? There could also be, um, okay, so say if this King of Wands, Ace of Wands, this person wants to have a new beginning. I was clarifying this Ace of Swords. Somebody wants to have some type of new passionate beginning, open up in communication with you, bring some type of clarity to a situation. The, there may also be an air sign. Uh, maybe this King of Wands, because the... Queen of Swords can be somebody who is divorced or unmarried or just, you know, been through a lot. She don't take shit from others. All right. So this could be if you could have a man and a woman coming towards you for whatever this means. This could go so many different ways. Pisces feminine watching me. You may have a masculine who's very attractive, Aries Leo Sag or a business owner or just somebody who gets a lot of attention. An entrepreneur goes after what he wants and he does it with great passion. Okay. This person, um, this may be coming towards my Pisces feminine out there, Pisces masculine. You may have an air sign, you know, and this is only if you're straight or, you know, straight, you know, if you're gay or bi or whatever, you know, no judgment here, but, um, you know, put yourself where you fit in the situation. You may have an air sign coming towards you, Pisces mask, Pisces masculine, Maybe wanting to come towards you with some truth and clarity. Now, with this Ace of Wands over here, this is also used in the male phallic to be intimate. So it's like, I feel like, I kind of feel like this could either, okay. So save these two. This could be somebody who has divorced. Maybe a King of Wands, okay. Okay. And maybe this person's coming towards you to tell you the truth about something, Pisces. And I feel like you're also blocking out this masculine. Or this masculine's being blocked, okay? Nine of Cups. This person could be overindulging. They could be, like, you know, Nine of Cups reverse. This person could be a little bit selfish. Or their emotions are just all over the place. Because we also have Five of Cups and Six of Cups. Yeah, this is... This is your fucking past that's, like, taking over this day going read, reading, okay? This person's crying over spilled milk. <clears throat> they may be in a very indulgent, self-indulgent energy here. They may be drinking a lot. Um, this person from your past, I feel like... 
Maybe they were looking at other options and they poured your cup down the damn shitter, okay? Because all these cups are dried up, so it's like self-sabotaging type energy. Show me this Queen of Swords. Show me the Queen of Swords. Sun card reverse. It could be a Leo. Who's very depressed, very sad. This person may be getting out of a commitment or a relationship and they want to come offer you something. Apologize. Make some type of offer, okay? But again, this person's emotions are fucked up, just to say the least. Sun card reversed is the happiest card in the deck, okay? When it's in the reverse, it's straight up depression, all right? Or maybe this person's trying to hide the fact that they want to come towards you and apologize and, you know, express some type of love and give you some type of an offer. But I feel like they're feeling sad. They could be feeling nostalgia, missing you. Maybe this person is trying to cut off somebody, you know, with this Queen of Swords or coming towards you with the truth. This could just be this person wanting to come towards you, give you some type of truth and clarity and have some type of passionate new beginning. But again, they're feeling pretty fucked up. <laughs> okay, Five of Pentacles. It's like feeling left out in the cold in a situation. Very low vibrational energy and I feel like they need your healing. Okay. They need that healing. Page of Swords, they're definitely spying on you, watching you, feeling left out from a situation here. This person could be going through some type of a change as well. There could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or maybe this person had other options, you know, or was in a commitment. And they're feeling really unbalanced here at this time. Yeah, show me the Ace of Wands, Justice. So they want to come and make the scales balance. They want to come in and bring some type of fairness by, by bringing in some type of truth and clarity and having some type of passion in the beginning, okay? Or something to that nature. There also could be a Libra involved. Okay. Show me justice. What is Pisces justice here? What is going on? What is Pisces justice here? Why is justice here? Seven of Pentacles. Somebody may want to invest in you, but I feel like somebody here is like... Somebody here is really fucking burdened. They want to come... They. <laughs> this person may have also made a bad investment with the Seven of Pentacles coming out damn near in the reverse, okay? This person could have made a bad investment with the Libra and now they want to come, come towards you and balance out the scales. They're... They're really like scratching their head. There could have been some rumors or gossip here that was hidden with this moon card or about you, Pisces, you know. There could have been some like some shady shit that somebody was doing behind the scenes. We did have that King of Cups, Seven of Swords in the beginning of this. So, yeah. Why is the Queen of Pentacles out here? Somebody could also be married and have somebody pregnant, but I feel like they're unhappily, you know, like bored and discontent or they're like unhappily married or in a commitment here with this queen of pentacles this could be somebody who's in a commitment maybe not loyal to this person though or maybe somebody got somebody pregnant and they're like yeah because somebody here i feel like was very attractive but somebody here is also evil queen of wands just flew out in the reverse six of wands somebody wants victory and success with you but i feel like there could have been some magic or some what is this queen of wands reversed eight of pentacles reversed so somebody could be doing Okay. There could be someone who's jealous about your work. Yeah, and they're trying to win at all costs here. I feel like, I don't know. You have all the fives out here too as well. There could be multiple women in this situation. Yeah, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. And King of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Masculine. Then you got the Queen of Wands reverse. This is someone who's angry, jealous, possibly very attractive, but also uses sex as a weapon, okay? This person could be doing work on your, on doing work on your work, <laughs> okay? Like doing something shady to fucking stop your money or, you know, or they're jealous of what you do for work, maybe. Five of Swords, they could be talking shit, fucking gossiping, gap, whatever, okay? 
I feel like somebody here made a bad investment. Somebody could see you doing well for yourself and that's creating some type of a tower moment here, Scorpio energy, because somebody here is like self-sufficient, independent. Pisces, I'm going to end this reading. I feel like you have somebody coming towards you from your past who's missing you, but I also feel like they're attached to a lot of other energies here. And these energies aren't too happy about this person coming towards you. There may also be a pregnancy or somebody here who's pregnant, possibly even married to one of these women or masculine, you know, take it how it resonates. But I feel like whoever this is in your past, this person is missing you and they're attached to a lot of different people. And those other people are not happy that this person is coming towards you, Pisces. Okay. So watch your shit because I feel like there's a lot of jealousy, a lot of hate, a lot of spying, a lot of unbalanced energies here. So you got the King of Wands, you got Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands reversed. Um, so there could be a marriage here that ended, you know, King and the Queen of Wands with this. This can also be somebody who was in a very, you know, a long-standing commitment. And then you had the Empress out here. So there could also be like someone who is pregnant, okay? I don't know if these are different people or different energies. To me, I feel like these are different feminines. And then you have the Queen of Swords under here, who's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, cutting out people, places, and things. And then you got this guy standing in the middle. It's like, and there's all this low vibrational sadness, missing you, bad investments, somebody wanting to come in and bring some type of truth and clarity. They're feeling sad, possibly about this pregnancy or you know, whatever this is. They're feeling left out in the cold, so they're spying on you. But again, they're 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 not balanced, okay? This person sees you picking from your own fucking tree and it's creating some type of a tower moment because you're getting some type of success and victory and this person is feeling like crying over spilled milk because you're in a zen state of mind. You're peaceful. You're, you're protecting your energy. You're staying, you know, and this person's emotions are all over the fucking place. They want to come and offer you something, maybe even offer an apology or a gift, a peace offering, okay? But again, their energy is fucked up. And this is someone from your past, okay? I do see this person running towards you wanting, you know, wanting to get some, yeah, and the chariot on the bottom. But then it's like the Ten of Swords. They're feeling betrayed, you know? There's some type of a betrayal and a backstabbing this person's running from. This could be hidden. Maybe they don't want to tell you about this. There could also be something about some hidden travels. Maybe someone is sneaking away in the night to fucking travel towards you, Pisces with this moon card. But again, there's the Ten of Swords. This is either somebody who betrayed you or somebody who's feeling betrayed themselves. So whatever energy they're coming towards you and it's, I don't know. You, you know, use your own judgment. Give me messages, please, for Pisces. One more. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. Um, you tight ass. You tight ass. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. Forgive, um, let that shit go. Shame and regret and guilt, those are all just bullshit, all right? Put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person, all right? And we did have that come out earlier with the tea leaf deck. Um, maybe to go out and celebrate with the grapes. Yeah, time to get out and have fun. All right, Pisces, that's what I got for you. If this reading resonates with you, please smash the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Anybody like a personal reading, uh, you can book with me in the description box below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.